Hi everyone, this is Nina from Rafaela Soul Sessions. How are we all doing? Um, I'm not doing very good today, I've got to be honest. Um, big part of what I do here is be as authentic as we can be and um, I've kind of got to the stage where I can't hide it anymore. I'm not. I'm not trying to hide it, but I, you know, I've always been very honest with my situation. But um, I've had a real struggle lately um, since August, since my daughter started school. It's been really, really challenging. Um, Yeah, you can look back on my other videos where I talk about my situation with Marnie and her issues and stuff. Um, yeah, it's just been it's been really challenging trying to navigate this mainstream school system and um, having a child like Marnie who's been through what she's been through and trying to get her the support that she needs um, in school. This has not been happening, so um, the school can't support her for the length of time she should be in school. Um, I have to go and pick her up quite soon. Um, so that's impacted on the time that I have to be able to do my work. My working week has been cut in half. Um, and that impacts on everything that I can do in the time that I have because the time that I have to myself I have to do all the normal things that I would need to do to run a household and keep everything moving plus try and do something that's keeping my business going um and yeah it's been a struggle uh, and it is a struggle my everything has been impacted um our local councils just dragging their feet on supplying Marnie with the support that she needs. And it's kind of got to the point where I've had to seek independent um, private uh, and holistic therapy for her um, to try and get her through this time and try and get her to a place where she is going to be able to cope with being at school, um, her development following everything she went through, um, even before birth, you know, when I was pregnant, um, impacts the baby. Um, everything has sort of come to the point where she's not been able to develop normally. Uh, she's not developed like her peers. She's basically stuck at an age range of about two or three, even though she's six. Um, she's not stuck though. We've um, we found the therapy and it is having a beautiful impact on her. Um, it's uh, definitely having very, very positive results, even though it's quite challenging um, and it's very intensive. Um, I am seeing really, really positive changes in her every day. Um, but the therapy itself, I have to do it, um, and I have to do it with her daily. And it's not always easy. And there's challenges that come with that, and there's side effects to it as well. Um, she's uh, not always... Uh, she doesn't always want to do it either, which is... Can be challenging too um so yeah there's there's loads of stuff involved in that but it's very um it's just been a really really intensive time there's pressure coming from so many angles the school and the pressure of trying to keep on top of who you're supposed to be providing money with the support and the pressure of having to take money to and from from therapy every uh couple of weeks and um 
keeping on top of the therapy and just being a single mom and trying to run a business and being a quantum healer and trying to support the collective and yeah it's like ah loads of stuff um but on top of that yeah that's having an impact on my work and it has had an impact on my work and um, my ability to put as much effort into promoting myself i just have not had the time and the headspace to do that because it's been so focused on trying to get Barney where she needs to be. Um, so I've been struggling to get the volume of clients that, you know, I was getting this time last year, um, and which I know is possible and I know I can do it. And um, it's, it's upsetting and it's frustrating because I know people need help, but at the same time, I need to be there for Marnie and I she needs help. Um, but the real pressure has sort of come from the government and their non-willingness to take into account our situation and the reality of what we've been going through and not giving me very much leeway on that and uh, not willing to support me Um in my business um and not deeming my business viable so um i'm gonna have to go out alone and break away from another uh governmental system which i mean it's not a bad thing but it's um a little bit daunting because you know the this world is just so geared to keep us in those lower vibrational states of lack and fear and um even though, you know, I'm so grateful every single day to have what I have. And um, I'm in no way, you know, hard done by, or, and I'm not, I'm really not trying to put that across in this video. Um, I'm just trying to be really authentic with you. Um, I'm not hard done by and we are okay and we are going to be okay. And I'm very, very grateful for the situation that I have and that I'm in. Um, it's just hard. It's just it's like, it's a lot of pressure and it's a lot of hard work. And um, I miss being so busy with the session work. I love this work. I love supporting people in this way and the impact that it has on people's lives. And it feeds me in more than one way. It feeds me in so many ways. And um, but I know I have to devote this time to Marnie as well as my work. Um, and But with the therapy, you know, this therapy is allowing us uh, a lot of hope in that Marnie will be able to overcome her challenges and she'll be able to cope with the school environment and that will allow me to have more time to dedicate to this work and my business and I'm just praying it all balances itself out and that I, you know, I'm not here to do anything else. And I know I'm not. I know what I'm here to do. And I know how important this work is. Not just on the individual level. It's, of course, on the individual level, it's so important for people to be able to have access to this type of work so that they can empower themselves and heal themselves. But on the wider perspective, it's so important for everyone that we can tap into these other realms and we can tap into this lost knowledge and information and um, receive the energy that's received through these sessions to this earth. And that's so my, my ego is saying, it's not my ego is saying that, I just know that this work is very, very important. And, um, I'm not going to stop and I'm not going to be told that 
what I'm doing is not viable. Um, I, I chose a tricky life path <laughs> and um, I chose an amazing child who unfortunately had to have a very, very challenging start to life, which is impacting a lot of things now. Um, but yeah. And it just needed to share uh, the reality of sort of where my situation is. And it's a, by no means dire. And I'm, you know, I'm not saying that. And, um, but it's a struggle sometimes. Um, and today it's a struggle because I've had to sort of be really set in what it is I'm going to do moving forward, which is make it work myself. But yeah, and I also have to be in a mental and emotional state to be able to hold space for other people. And when there's external um, pressures, it's hard to do that. Um, and when there's, yeah, that's it, it's the pressure, um, pressure from so many angles. Um, it's, yeah, it can be hard to do that. And I don't want to, um, I don't just want to pretend it's not all happening and it's not all there and just, um, you know, continue holding space for people. I have to make sure that my energy is in a good place so that people can, um, so that I can hold space in the proper way and so that people can trust that I have the ability to um, to do that uh, responsibly and um, professionally of course um, so there are days that I have to take time off and I have to stop and I have to do all the things that our teams tell us to do in these sessions that we can forget to do, <laughs> like meditate and drink water and walk in nature. I have that that is part of my work too. You know, I have to, I have to do that as well. So yeah, I think this is just what I wanted to share in this message. I'm going to do another video specifically about. Um, the work that I'm doing with clients at the moment and the messages and things that are coming through there and just answering some questions that I've received lately that um, might be useful for you guys um, but I just wanted to share this information because it's where I'm at right now and um, it's important for me to be real and authentic and it's a big part of why I even started making videos and uh, promoting my work in this way it was being really authentic and being real and yeah the ups and downs of being a quantum healer <laughs> in this world <laughs> where it is right now which is just not set up to support or help people in so many ways and I know that and I see that I see that in my clients sessions and the struggles that this system has put people through and uh, just the pain that people hold pain the trauma the suffering um it's very, very real and it's, um, we all go through it in our own ways, you know, at our own levels. Nobody's more or less, you know, it's, uh, we all feel the same pain, we all bleed the same blood. Um, no matter what the situation occurs in our lives, and we are so interconnected. And even when you are working with people on a professional level, 
the the empathy and the compassion is real. It's real, and um, yeah, I guess we're just here to help. Anyway, this is what I wanted to share today. Uh, I'm running out of time, though. I've got to go and pick up my daughter. Um, I will be back very, very soon with more content that has actual content in it and not just me uh, sharing my own struggles. But I know that's an important part of why I'm here. So I'm sending you so much love and we'll speak soon. Take care.